So yeah, all in all, not a tough fight. Just a bit tricky sometimes. There we go. He's done. So, it's now just a dried out old plant. And now we fall down the tube. Might as well bounce when we hit. Barely bounce at all. Now you get super missiles. It's the only thing that makes me happier than missiles. So now we can open green doors. Now, you'll often find me trying to recharge my super missiles. Just because they're so scarce. That's the first we come by, and we don't come by anymore for a little while. Of course, I can't get through that door up there, because it's orange. And I have nothing that gets through orange doors. Ah. Just trying to grab some secret missiles up here. Just keep in mind, every tube goes somewhere, and if there's no enemies coming out of that tube, there's probably something in it for you. Those guys are just pain in the butt. Hopping all over the place like a maniac. These guys are great. They always give you super missiles. Something very important to keep in mind when you're low. If you really need to, you can just go in a door and out a door and get more. On to our next color change. Gone from green and pink to brown and sort of rusty. Making our way through here. Now, I don't believe this is useful yet. No, this is a an energy recharge station. Something up in the rest of the house smells amazing. It's very distracting. It's, I think it's blueberries. I do like me some blueberries. So up here we've got something that was semi-discreetly hidden away. What could it be? Phaser, our second beam upgrade. So here's where the beam really starts to shine. It's combining beam upgrades, and before Super Metroid, we couldn't do this. We couldn't combine our beam upgrades for maximum effectiveness. just use one at a time. And it would always be the last one that we got. Or as I like to call it, at that point, the ice beam. Because it was incredibly important. 
So we're heading down before we continue on because we need something from down here in Norfair. First look would be, or first thing that I guess we'd need would be a map. But more important than that, we need to not get stuck in this room. We're looking for a way to jump higher. Because we'll have quite the obstacle to get over if we can't jump higher. Now, if I recall correctly, in most cases, going right will get us killed. Or at least hurt. So we're going to go left. Now that's safe. Nice energy tank, always helpful. That guy really wants to get away from us. So here we go, high jump boots. Handy things, those. Let's see if this will actually Yep, it actually will blow some of that up. Fantastic. That speedy moving little freak needed to <laughs> disappear for me to continue on. If I recall correctly, we've got a save room here, and given that we've got a fight coming up... Oh, I know, it's the boiler. Uh, we're gonna use it. So we got those little blocks where you need the super missile to get through. I see we've acquired another viewer. Welcome. Feel free to introduce yourself in the chat or not. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> okay, it does. I'm vain. We're closing in on Kraid here. why we found more of these insect thingies. Mm, yeah, I'm not gonna... So what do we got over there? Do I remember? Yeah, it's just a, a recharge and a save room. We really don't need that. Not with what's coming up here. And now, creepy music. If anyone remembers how it played out in the real in the uh, original Metroid, I shouldn't call it the real one. This one's pretty real too. This is what Kraid used to attack you, and that's about the size Kraid was. For those of you that haven't seen that this uh, section, well. There's a very distinct reason that I'm using past tense. Because that wasn't Kraid. Gonna refuel on missiles. Every little helps. 
I'm sure I don't need them, but I like them. Also, I suck at uh, bomb hopping, so... Here I go, wasting my super missiles. <laughs> I'm usually better than this, but then again, I'm usually using a Super Nintendo controller and not an Xbox controller. It's not a hard fight. Once you know what to do. And he's done. Yeah, I never got to play this game when I was a kid, which is why I love it so much right now. I I was about 16 or 17 when I first played it. Just about done high school. And I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I mean, clearly I wouldn't be playing it now if I didn't. <laughs> so we got our various suit. Our first suit upgrade lets us uh, withstand uh, high temperatures. Yeah, when this came out, I was 13. 13 or 14. I don't remember what time of year. Uh, I'm from Canada. Now, for those of you watching in my highlight reel or uh, on YouTube, you'll uh, be wondering who the heck I'm talking to. Well, I'm streaming this live on Twitch.tv and, well, answering questions we got in our chat. Nothing too surprising there. Hey, no worries. I'm actually a bit of a world traveler myself. Uh, spent a year in South Korea. Even spent my vacation with, uh, oddly enough, a random German tourist. And a uh, very pleasant fellow. And, uh, well, I'll put it this way. Your English is probably better than my German, which I took for three years in high school. We're heading down into Norfair to acquire a few more uh, a few more abilities. Uh, it's kind of funny because the uh, the German tourist that I was uh, staying with at the hostel in uh, Busan uh, was a uh, was actually living in Japan. Much, much smaller world than you think. <laughs> I really should just start using super missiles to open those doors. Save me some time. Of course, if I keep doing that and run out, then I won't be able to open those doors. I suppose it's all a matter of yeah, planning. Ah, damn it. I hate those friggin' things. 